Welcome everyone. Have you ever wondered what makes it rain? Today we're going to observe some rainy weather and we're going to learn about where rain comes from. We will also be doing an experiment together to create and observe a rain cloud in a jar. There are many different types of weather. Today we are going to focus on rainy weather. We will be scientists and follow the scientific method to learn more about rain. The first step in the scientific method is to make an observation. Let's look at these two videos and make some observations. While you are watching, I want you to observe what you see happening and what you hear. The next step is to ask some questions. What do we want to know after observing the rainy weather? Let's brainstorm. Okay, after our brainstorm, we have determined some questions that we want to know. Where does rain come from? Why does it rain? What makes the clouds? And where do the clouds go? Why is rain important? The third step is to form a hypothesis. That is a big fancy word, isn't it? Let's say it together. Hypothesis. A hypothesis is an idea that we will test with an experiment. What are your ideas about what makes the rain? Okay, everyone has brainstormed and we have decided that our hypothesis is that there is water in the clouds and it falls out as rain. Before we go on to the next step, let's learn more about rain from Carl Cloud. He will be using another important vocabulary word, particles. Particles are very, very tiny pieces of something. For example, the dust that you see on the table is made of many particles. Also, clouds and rain are made from many, many tiny particles of water. We will be hearing this word in the video. Also, while we are listening to the video, I want you to think about a very important question. Why is rain important? We will be discussing it after the video. Let's watch. Rooney Rainbow. Weather School. You don't like rain because you have to stay inside your house. But rain is very important. No plant could grow without it. Now, I'll show you how such a rain shower is formed. The sun plays an important part in that. Let's see if the tree of Scolorus will grow afterwards. Because without the sun, there would be no rain either. When the rays of sunlight hit a lake or the sea, the water at that spot grows warmer. Tiny water particles rise up at the surface, but they are so small that you can't see them. They become lighter and lighter and keep on rising upwards. On their way up, the air around the water particles grows colder and colder. Finally, when they are really cold,
they move closer together and form clouds. More and more water particles join in from below until the cloud is so filled up that the particles snuggle together into small drops. The drops grow bigger and bigger until they are so heavy they fall out of the cloud. And this is called rain. Come on, let's make it rain together. All right, let's have a discussion about what we've learned. All right, now we are ready to explore our hypothesis with an experiment. We are going to be making a rain cloud in a jar. We will be using the following materials. We will need food coloring, water, a clear jar, some shaving cream, and plastic pipette, which are optional, as you'll see in the following video. We are ready for step four. Before we begin the experiment, there is another very important step. Scientists always make a prediction. Use the worksheet that I have provided for you to draw a picture and write what you think about what will happen in the experiment. I'll give you a moment to do that before we move on. We are ready for step five in the scientific method, and that is the experiment. We are going to determine if our hypothesis is correct. Let's watch the video and you can follow along at home with supervision from an adult. Welcome everyone to my kindergarten classroom. I am Mrs. Bettencourt and we are going to be doing a rain cloud in a jar experiment today. We've been learning about the weather. We've been making some observations of the rain. And we've been talking about the scientific method. So we've observed the rain, we've been asking ourselves some questions about the rain, and we've also formed a hypothesis. That means we have an idea, we're going to test with an experiment. Our hypothesis is that there's water in the cloud and it falls out of rain. What you'll need today is a clear plastic container, you'll need some food coloring, you'll need some shaving cream, and you're going to need some water. First, I'm going to fill my container about three quarters of the way full with some water. Next, I'm going to fill my water with a cup. Now for the rain. Now, for those of you doing this experiment, you can use straight food coloring. You can also use water droppers for children to practice with their fine motor skills. Today, for this experiment, I'm just using food coloring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just squirt the food coloring down onto the rain cloud, and we're going to observe what happens as these water drops collect within the cloud. Are we seeing something happen? Let's watch. We're going to observe. When water droplets and ice crystals forms inside the cloud, they start to get really heavy. And eventually those water droplets and ice crystals will come out as either rain or snow. So this experiment demonstrates how a rain cloud is acting, acting when it's up in the sky. Another activity that you can do is to incorporate additional colors. Now this also brings inquiry and our preschoolers in kindergarten have always loved this activity. As you add additional colors, they can observe what happens when the colors mix together and what will happen. And there you have a rain cloud in a jar. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and I hope you have fun doing this activity in your own homes with your own students and children. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Welcome, everyone, to my kindergarten classroom. 
I'm Mrs. Bancourt, and we're going to stop that video. We're going to go on to the next slide. Oop, went too far. Let's go back. Oh. All right, that was fun. Now that we have completed the experiment, I want you to complete your observation by drawing a picture of what you observed and write what you learned from this experiment and activity. Fellow teachers, these worksheets will act as an informal assessment to determine your students' understanding. Conclusion. What did you learn? Clouds form when water vapor rises into the air and combines together to form cloud. These water particles continue to grow together and when the water droplets become heavy, they will fall from the cloud as raindrops. Rain is important because every living thing needs water to survive. We live with science around us every day and each of us experience science. Science can be fun. I hope all of you enjoyed this presentation and doing this activity with your students and children at home.